Hello guys, welcome to the video. My name is Crypt, and today I'm gonna to teach you guys how to slide cancel in uh, Call of Duty. Okay, now slide canceling goes into advanced macro. So this is actually technically speaking, the title of the video is advanced macro and how to do it. And Call of Duty is actually the perfect example because slide canceling, as you know, takes a good amount of um, timing, takes a good amount of key binds. So it's actually the perfect um, example of a um, a macro that we can do on Logitech, okay? Let's go right to it. Let's go right to the point. As you know, it's like canceling. It's pretty much, um, it's pretty much this, right? As you can see, okay? That's like canceling. And I'm not doing that, by the way. I'm letting my mouse do that. I'm letting the Logitech do that, okay? And that's what like canceling pretty much is. And we can modify it. That's the great thing about having a macro, a Logitech um, mouse or keyboard that can actually do this, is that we can modify it. Now, this is my slide cancel, so I'm gonna show you guys how I manually do it. So I press shift twice, I press C but double time, and then I let go. Shift twice, right, and then C twice. That's how I do it. Now, I'm definitely not faster than a computer. Now, this is how the computer does it. I'm just gonna show you guys how the Logitech program does it, okay? So, this is a Logitech program. As you can see, it is much faster. It does not waste any time, and there's no errors, okay? There you go, okay? There are several benefits to this. Some benefits include some head glitching. Uh, other benefits include that you can actually you move much faster. Tactical sprinting never goes away um, because you keep resetting it. So these are some benefits to it. Um, but you can modify. So let's go straight to the point. I'm going to open Logitech. You can see on the top right, Logitech is open. Okay. Over here. And as you can see right now, I have the Call of Duty Modern Warfare profile activated. That's very important. Okay. So I'm going to go back to the homepage. Right here, I have the active profile, Call of Duty Modern Warfare. If you don't have the active, it's fine. Anyways, let's click on your accessory. So I want to put the macro in my G502. You're going to go over here to the profile at the top. You're going to go to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Okay, click on it. And then go to Assignments. And then you're going to come over to Macros. And as you guys can see, I already have Slide Cancel right here. That's what my Slide Cancel is. If you want to just copy it, there you go. Okay, but now if you want to learn how to actually do it, I will go over it. So if you want to copy, just pause the video right now and copy whatever I have in here. Okay, and there you go. Okay, make sure I have you have this box unchecked. Okay, and make sure you have a repeat while holding. All right, anyways, let's go straight forward to it. Let me teach you guys how to do it. Very simple. So let's just remember what it is. Remember, we're going to press shift twice. Okay, control twice and space. Okay, that's pretty much what it is. Okay, you want to make sure you do that uh, with me. Okay, so let's go. So let me delete this one. I'm going to create a new macro. Create a new macro. I'm going to name it Slide Cancel. Okay. Repeat while holding. So it's going to happen while we're holding the key. So it keeps on happening over and over again. We're going to disable to use stand delay. Use the stand delay. We're going to disable that. We're going to click Start now. Record the keystrokes. And now we're going to press Shift twice. We're going to press Control and Control Space. There you go. Save it and see what happens. Put it on your mouse. Okay. Right now, this is not completely done. We're going to have to modify the timing, but let's just see if it works. So right now, it's doing it. It's very slow, as you guys can see. Very slow, but it is working. Okay, And it is doing slide canceling. Okay? So, again, let's, let me go back to show you guys what I actually did again. So, I open slide canceling. I put repeat while holding. I press these keys. I press shift. You got to press shift twice. So, press down, release. Press down, release. There's a delay here between the control and delay between the control and space. Now, let's fix the delays. So, this is good. The first delay is good. I'm actually going to change the delay between the press down and the release right here to 50 milliseconds. 100 between the next press down. 50 milliseconds right here. 55 just to make it a little different. I'm going to make this one because two seconds is too long. As you can see, it, takes me to, it took me too long for me to um, actually crouch down. This is 50. Okay. And then here I'm going to put it 300, okay, actually 200, this should make it faster, okay, that's good, um, 35 is better, and then here I'm going to make 200, now, you guys may be like, what is this guy modifying, I will show you guys in just a little bit what I'm modifying, okay, let's just see how this goes, there you go, so it's now it's much faster, it crouches, it, it slides for a little longer, but it is much faster, okay, so what I basically modified, you guys, I basically modified the time that it takes for it to press shift, twice so basically now it press shift once and then it waits 100 milliseconds then press shift again right here and then waits one second for it to crouch down now i'm going to show you guys what happens if you don't wait this one second so i'm going to wait only 50 seconds for it to crouch down again so 
I'm gonna wait 50 seconds for it to slide. This is slide. Okay. I'm gonna show you guys what happens if I do that. See, sometimes it glitches, you see? Because it doesn't even take the input. So let's make sure we have the as you can actually have it as 500 if you want. 500 does work, it's just very fast, but it does work. There you go. There you go. And you don't really have a lot of tactical sprinting time. You want to make sure we take advantage of the tactical sprint, right? Now you can have it like this if you want, okay? Or you can increase the tactical sprint time by just increasing the time right here. If you put five seconds, you're gonna see what I'm talking about. I'm gonna put five seconds there. As you can see, I'm sprinting for a long time. And then I'm gonna slide now. There you go. And I sprint for a long time. And then I'm gonna slide now. So this is not very good, okay? Now you want to make sure one second is a perfect number for me. If you want to have a 500, that's good. 500 is fast. One is perfect. Five seconds is too much. Remember, one second is a thousand milliseconds. Anyways, so then here it presses control again. This is the actual slide. And then it releases and then wait 200 seconds. Wait to press one more time before you can get up. Now if you want to slide for a little longer, you can have this as 500 milliseconds. And it's going to slide for a little longer. There you go. You see the slide is a little longer now. See? Now, if you can't see what I'm talking about, I can definitely show you guys even better. I'm going to put it at one second so you guys can see that this light is definitely longer. You saw it? And even actually prone. We don't want that because you don't want it to prone, right? So the perfect number for that will be what I had before, which, where is it? It'll be like 200 milliseconds, 100 milliseconds. I like 200, 300 milliseconds. That's a perfect number in my opinion because it does it pretty quick. There you go. Boom. Doesn't take a lot of time sliding, canceling. There you go, it just goes straight up to it, and boom. We can't even fix the time, because after it slides, it even takes a little bit of time to actually press shift again. So let's make sure we fix that. So this this, this one gets up, and then we need to press shift immediately. So, um, yeah, let's put this as 100. Let's see. There you go. It's much faster now. And that's a really good light cancel. Oops, I shot by accident. And this actually allows you to move around the map much faster. It allows you to glitch around too with your, your head, the character, right? Because sometimes people can see you before you see them, or you can see people before you see them if you go around the corners. And this allows you to actually hit glitch a little bit, right? So this is really good. Now, you're going to notice that when you press the actual key you want to press, it's going to take a little bit of time for each slide cancel. If you don't want that, you can just come over here and you can lower these times over here, for example. You can lower this to like 50 sec. 50 milliseconds, and then you can lower this to 40 milliseconds, okay? And now it's gonna do it much faster, okay? So as soon as you press the keys, it's gonna start doing slide cancel immediately, pretty much. It's definitely much faster, all right? Anyways, guys, so thank you for watching this video. This is pretty much a very quick video on how to do advanced macro on your Logitech keyboard. I'm using the game Call of Duty as a perfect example because Call of Duty has slide canceling, and slide canceling is a very complex uh, movement, okay? Um, that takes some time to to get it right. So, anyways, thank you for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed. Make sure you check my other videos out. I have videos on how to improve the recoil and things like that using applications. Okay, make sure you check those out. And thank you for watching. Have a nice time.